Hey guys, this is Goldie again. In the last video, we did uh, user auto provisioning from uh, Okta to Google. In this video, we will do a single sign on uh, leveraging SAML 2.0 so that our users can authenticate from their Okta dashboard to Google. Whether you should watch this video or watch my other video depends on which products you would be using in Google. So let me put some clarity on that. So this video should be applied if you will be using G Suite or if you would be using G Suite and Google Cloud Platform or maybe if you are going to use Google Drive Enterprise or if you use any G Suite product for example Meet or Google Site etc. However, if you will only be using Google Cloud Platform and you will not be using any of the G Suite products then this video will not apply to you and for that you should better watch my other video where I'll show you how you can do single sign on for uh, your Google Cloud Platform with Okta and I'll link it somewhere here at the top. So with that assuming that you are in this uh, blue category let me take you to the journey of setting up single sign on from Okta to Google. So there are a few steps and I'll uh, explain those steps to you first. First of all, obviously you should uh, log into your Google Admin Console. Then you, you will go to Google Security Settings because that's where uh, the place is where we set up all the SSO stuff. We will click on SSO Setup link and then we will configure our single sign-on settings. We will upload this, uh, the certificate that Okta gives us and then finally we will enable SSO. These four steps are for G Suite. If you would be using G Suite or if you're using Google Drive Enterprise or any other G Suite product. In case if you're using Google Cloud Platform, after these four steps, there are two additional steps. Number one or number fifth is to add Google Cloud Platform application in Okta. And number six, changing the default real estate now real estate essentially is the landing page where your users will be landing once they are authenticated via your identity provider. And I have a separate video where I talk about SSO terminology so if you want you can watch that too. So in case if you're going to use G Suite or Google Drive Enterprise follow the first four steps. If you're going to use G Suite plus Google Cloud Platform then also follow this fifth and sixth step and I'll show you these all six steps now one by one. Couple of uh, things about logistics. You should have your Okta admin credentials because they are required to log in and set up that application. Now for Google site we should have super admin credentials because super administrators in Google are allowed to bypass SSO and directly log in with their Google credentials and which is good because just in case if something goes wrong we should not be locking ourselves in in that troubleshooting flow. So for that uh, keep the Google admin credentials, the super admin credentials with you. You should also have one test user so once we test it out with that user we'll go ahead and roll that out to the whole organization. You should also have one uh, static IP address which we will use to test our single sign-on right from that specific IP address before we ro roll it out to the whole enterprise. And then finally, uh, as uh, I recommended in the previous video as well, you should always have dedicated user accounts in Okta and in Google, which uh, will be used in this integration. Make sure you are providing them enough admin credentials that are required for this integration. And also you're not putting any policy on them such as change password every 30 days because if you miss that, your service will stop working. Okay. So here is the setup for my demonstration. I have my Google domain which is id.goldiarora.com. I also have my domain in AD that is id.goldiarora.com. I also have my test user created which is test at id.goldiarora.com and I also have a dedicated IP address. So with that let me uh, take you to Okta and Google administration consoles and uh, let us uh, start doing our integration. So I will open a new incognito window and first I'll log into my Okta admin portal and I will click on this admin button to go to administration. I have a second factor so I'll just quickly tap my security key and I am in my Okta dashboard now. I will go to applications 
And if you have watched uh, my previous video where we configured provisioning, I will just search for my application G Suite. And we were here in the last video where we provision and assign these users and these users were provisioned in our Google account as well. This time we need to do single sign-on so I will go to sign-on. If I scroll down a bit we already selected SAML in our previous video. I will click on view setup instructions. Okay and then here are the instructions and these URLs that you see here the sign-in page and sign-out page and uh, cert that will be unique to you so make sure that you're logged in before you go to this page once you click on uh, setup instructions it will show you this okay so what I will do is simultaneously I will log in to admin.google.com and I already created the service Okta service account and gave it uh, admin credentials it has the super admin rights so I'll enter my password Oops. So now I'm in my admin console. Once you're in your admin console, go to security. Under security settings, we will be looking for a place where we do all the SSO settings. So it says set up single sign on for SAML applications. This is where you need uh, Google to be acting as your identity provider for other applications. That's not what we need. We need the second one which says set up single sign on with a third party identity provider which is our case. So I'll click on this one and then it will ask for a pieces of information uh, from us. Okay so first I will take the sign in page. I'll go back to my instructions which Okta gave me. I'll copy the sign in page paste it. I'll take the sign out page okay, and paste it here and then I will take the change password link scroll down a bit and paste it here and then I will simply click on this link to save my certificate in this folder. This is saved so I will simply click on replace in my case it says replace because I already did the single sign on uh, previously but in your case it might say upload so select the Okta certificate that you downloaded and then the certificate has been uploaded now at this time do not enable single sign on do the domain specific issue and let us save the changes Okay, now our settings are saved. Let me just do a quick refresh to just make sure that those settings were saved, which is fine. Now, before we enable single sign on, I will need to put network mask here. Now, if you go to my blog post, which I'll link here, I have some more details on what is network mask and how does that work. But just to give you a kind of summarized version of this, you can put a, a CIDR here or an IP range here, which means whatever IP uh, range you put here Google will only show single sign-on page or Google will only redirect these users to Okta if they are coming from this IP, IP range. If they are coming from anywhere else then they will be shown a regular Google login page where they will be putting their Google credentials. So it is a great feature because it will let us test the SSO first with just one IP address and then we will, once everything goes fine, we will uh, remove the IP address from here and let everybody go uh, via uh, Okta redirect. So for that, I have this uh, Google Cloud Platform uh, virtual machine created where I have my few things installed. So this is my IP address. I'm going to copy it, come back here and paste it. Okay, now it says invalid because it needs uh, a CIDR format. So I will do slash. 32 and just to summarize or give you some context on this with this you can define how many uh, bits should be represented as the network ID versus host ID so when I say 32 I'm just uh, keep mentioning that this hole is just one IP address or one host and it will be applied on just this IP address okay once I do that I'm gonna click on save okay our settings have been saved and now finally I'm gonna click on the setup 
uh, set up single sign-on with third-party identity provider and click on save. Okay. Okay, so we have saved all our settings and everything looks fine here. Now what I'm going to do is I will go to my this IP address in my uh, virtual machine that I have on Google Cloud Platform and I'll try to log in with one of my users uh, which has been assigned this application. So when I go to G Suite and look at assignments, make sure that you have that user assigned that application. Okay, if you uh, haven't assigned it yet, that user will get an error. So I will log in with this user in Okta first and show you how it's going to work in case of identity provider initiated single sign-on. So I'll go here and I'm going to put that user's email address. So it depends on whether you would be putting the full email address or just the username uh, based on what settings you have between Okta and Google. So for example, if I go to my profile not the profile editor but directory integrations here and I go to my active directory and if I go to provisioning and if I go to to Okta you will see that in username format I'm saying app dot username so I'm just gonna put the username of what I have for this user in AD and not uh, the full email address so I will just paste the username here and then I'll put the user's AD password. Okay. And because this is the first time I'm logging into Okta, so it might ask me a couple of things. I'll just create my account. And ideally, I should have all the applications uh, which were assigned. So if I go back to my G Suite application here, you will see that on the sign on page, on the journal page, sorry, we have assigned these four chiclets by clicking the check boxes. We can add more or we can remove these ones too. So we have these applications. Now let me click on Gmail and let's see how it goes. Okay, it is asking whether we would like to confirm that the referenced account is ours. Now Google has this additional security step because think of a scenario where any application is trying to uh, get your click on a button and then behind the scene getting access to your you know some other place like Chrome uh, profile or something that's why Google makes it very visible which is uh, an, an additional security feature so you will see this and usually it does not appear frequently so when you click on continue it says welcome to your new account and this is because this is the first time I'm signing in to Google Okay, so it is asking me to accept the terms of service, so I'll accept it, and then hopefully I should be landing to Gmail, which is perfect. So it seems the identity provider uh, single sign-on is working fine for us. So now our identity provider initiated single sign-on is working fine. Now let us test from our Google provided sign-in. Again, I'm on the same IP address that I've uh, put in. 190 that I put in my uh, Google configuration so ideally when I go here it should direct me to Okta but otherwise not so make sure that you are keeping in mind that you're going to mail.google.com slash a slash your domain.com to let the network mask trigger okay once you click enter it will straight away redirect you to Okta okay so, and in Okta we're gonna put our uh, user ID which is this one instead of the whole email address I'm gonna just put my username from AD and then the AD password because I have the delegated authentication behind the scene when I click on sign in Okta will call Google and again we will see that confirmation message click on continue and this user is now logged in from the service provider initiated sign on. Now let's go to the other uh, Mac machine that I'm using and here let me first log out from this account and then let's use another account and here I'm gonna put that whole email address because that's what Google takes it of my uh, user. Now because this IP does not belong uh, to the range that I've 
uh, put in my uh, network mask so ideally even the same user that should be redirected to Google and not to Okta so let's click on next and as you see here it is asking for Google password instead of directing me to Okta which is expected because we have that in our network masking which means we have tested uh, from both the sites we have tested Okta's initiated sign-on we have also tested our uh, Google initiated sign-on so this is the time when we will go ahead and replace or remove that IP address from uh, the network mask so that our single sign-on gets in effect even now let us check from the IP address uh, and this time let's set another account and if you remember last time when we clicked next it did not redirect us to uh, Okta because we had the IP network mask but we removed it so ideally this time it should take us to Okta and it is taking us to Okta which means everything is working as expected now I will tell you about one more thing which you can do within uh, let me go to my admin console login in which will be helpful in some cases for example if I go to settings under security you will see this uh, a login challenges when you click on that it will show you a functionality that says uh, post SSO verification which means even if the Okta or your any other IDP whom you have integrated your Google with sending you the successful SAML response which says go ahead and let the user log in if you click on logins using SSO bypass additional verifications user will not be asked for any additional verification but if you click on this one you are essentially saying that even after a successful SAML response from your IDP Google should still challenge that user to provide the second factor that he has configured with Google so this is optional but uh, you know in case if you want to leverage Google uh, multi-factor you can turn this option on so far our G Suite has been working fine we tested it now this is the time when we need to configure step number five and six that we uh, discussed at the beginning of this video which is uh, uh, very specific to customers who would be using Google Cloud Platform step number five or step number one I would say is add application and then search for Google Cloud Platform okay and this is the one so as you see it does not support provisioning but we have already taken care of that with our G Suite setup that we did in last video if you haven't watched it yet please watch it that might be helpful and then click on add when we add it here we will be you know you can change the application label if required I'll just leave it like Google Cloud Platform in my Google domain I will put id.goldero.com that's the domain that I have uh, I will leave the default I want this application to be visible in Okta user mobile app browsers plugin auto submit that is like a password vaulting we do not want that because we will be using SAML so I will uncheck this and click on next okay now we will click on SAML because we will be using this and under default relay state you need to put the uh, Google Cloud landing page so default relay state essentially is where your users will be landing after successful response from your IDP and for that I guess it's uh, cloud.google.com slash console yeah this is the one so I will simply uh, copy this from here and I will paste it here so it's HTTPS console dot cloud dot google dot com I'll remove the forward slash okay and then everything remains same I will just click on done okay and now it's time to assign this cloud app, uh, platform application to required users or groups I will go to assign I will click on assign to groups and then here you should assign to whatever groups you want to assign to in my first video where I showed you how to provision users from Okta I created a group which is Okta Google integration group which is fetching members from my AD groups it has four people when I click on people now 
the membership has been populated via that group and this application has been assigned to these four users and because we uh, already created these users in our first video uh, in Google I really these users should not be able to sign in to Google Cloud Platform so I'll copy this email address let's go to our machine here and go to ssr.domain.com and I'm gonna put this users user ID I will put this users password here and I should be logging into my Okta where it says you are assigned Google Cloud Platform it shows this when you assign a new application to a user so I see the new application has been assigned when I click on that hopefully if everything goes fine I should be logged into my Google Cloud Platform account okay it went pretty fine and because this is the first time Google Cloud Platform is asking me to accept the terms of service so I'll click quickly accept it so this is working fine and even in case if uh, somebody goes to uh, you know the, directly to uh, cloud.google.com and tries to log in it will redirect them to Okta okay so this setup is working fine hope it was helpful in the next video I will show you a couple of advanced use cases for example so far in our cases the email address in our uh, Octa or AD was the same as we have in Google but in next video I'll show you how to do SSO leveraging Octa's expression in case if the email address in your AD or Octa is different than what you have in your Google so with that thank you so much for watching uh, if you have any questions comments feedback do not hesitate to put that under this video and I'll be happy to help thank you so much